Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 21, the kill all command. My name is Dan Washko. I'll be your host today, and I'd like to thank Hacker Public Radio for hosting the website as well as the audio files. So if you have not already read the website or listened to the audio, I suggest you do so soon after here to get a full understanding of the kill all command and to see the uh, resources over there. Also consider contributing to Hacker Public Radio. It's a great community, uh, great resource, and at the very least, listen to some shows. All right, so let's talk about the kill all command. It's the uh, third in the series of the signal sending commands that I'm going to talk about. Uh, previously, I talked about kill and pkill with pgrab. So there's some stuff in there that will be applicable here. Uh, but I'm not going to cover it into full detail, so check out those other episodes for more information. Now, this is just the examples I'm going to show of using Kill All, uh, so just be aware of that. Head over to the website for the full write-up. Okay, let's look at some uh, Kill All examples. Uh, the first I want to show you is similar to Kill. If I do Kill All-L, it shows me a list of signals right there. Uh, not like Kill at all. It's a little more sparse than the kill command. So those are the different signals you can use. Now by default kill will send a sig term. So uh, for instance I'm going to do a pgrep here and show you that I have there are a number of x terms running that I have going on. So what I'm going to do is is also uh, kill all has an interactive mode with a dash i. So if I do kill all x term it's going to ask me whether I want to kill them. So I'm going to say no here all right, so because I want to show you a couple of different things, um, kill all by default x term when I when I issue that is going to tell me an operation not permitted on one of them. That's because uh, if I look at x term, it's running as the tester user. I have another user here because I want to show you some more advanced examples of p kill, but uh, that's why I got that error message now. Uh, if I were to run sudo, or actually I'm going to su to root, and I'm going to run kill all x term, I have killed that x term as the tester user. You did not see any response to that. So let me exit out of there. Let me start up another x term, as you can see in the back corner. And let me show you uh, the verbose mode of kill all. So when I hit the verbose mode, it actually says killed with x term with signal 15. So let's bring x term back up again and let's show you how to change the signal. And I'm going to continue using verbose mode. Now I have different options for changing the signal that I want to send. And I'm going to do a kill signal. Sig kill which is number 9. I can do dash 9. I could do dash sig kill. I could do dash kill or I could do dash s9 x term and when I do that see it changed now to signal 9 and killed that x term so let's bring x term back up because I'm going to be you doing more with that uh, so that's how you can do different things verbosely um, to make sure that you're doing the kill with what you want to do let's clear the screen I also want to go over here and bring x term back up as the tester user that's a tester user account and let's uh, let's go back here now. Uh, if I do kill all verbose interactive x term, uh, kill x term no, that's not the one I want to kill. I can try that one, and it says operation not permitted. Also x term no process found. Uh, so it, I I didn't kill anything. So same thing if I would have done kill all term I would have received the message term no process found uh, if it doesn't do anything or can't do anything it kind of spits back no process found but if it does do something by default it's not going to spit anything back like I had shown you all right now if I want to kill all X terms as a specific user or kill all um, commands run by a specific user I'm going to show you this as root Whoop. Okay, uh, PSEF grep, I can do that, grep tester, and I see that I have a couple of different things running as the tester user, 
Okay, you can see that the shell session is running as a test user. If I did kill whoop, kill all user tester, I do that, you'll see that it didn't tell me what it did, but I've been logged. Well, I wasn't logged out as the tester user, but it killed the xterm session. You see that uh, xterm is no longer running as tester. Whoops. See that xterm was running, so I, I started that back up. Now, if I were to go and do that again, kill all user tester, verbose, interactive, kill bash, yes. Kill bash signal 15, kill xterm, yes. Kill bash, yes. No such process. Now, did that actually log me out? No, it didn't. Uh, cannot open directory permission denied after because I'm in my user's home directory. Let's go back in the tester's home directory. So if I look now, I only have my si single bash session. So kill all will not kill like a current session that a user has or their bash session, but uh, it will kill all the processes that ha they have running. Let's bring X term back up and clear the screen. Go back to my user here and let me get out of root. All right, now kill all of course if you need help dash h uh, it's really hard for me to show you the exact command um, I mean I can I, if I if I do a pgrep term oh, pgrep a term you see that I have a bunch of terminals running um, e term x terms gnome term and a term and there's a reason why I have those running that I'm going to show you in a minute but with the exact uh, it would do an exact match on the command now kill kill all has a 15 character limitation so if your command exceeds 15 characters um, it would not it would by default kill any command that matches those 15 characters. So you have multiple commands that may be different that match that 15 char first 15 characters. Uh, it would kill both of those. Now the E prevents that from happening. The exact switch. Now, uh, for instance, um, if I do exa exact uh, verbose interactive, uh, and then I do E term, it's not going to find anything right there. Skipping partial match. Uh, those two right there, and it's no process found e term. But if I did e term, it would find that the e term is running. So I'm going to say no by default. So just that's how it, uh, exact works. Um, now, if I were to do kill all, ignore case, uh, interactive, verbose e term, that would of course allow me to kill e term because it's ignoring the case. So that that's a way to go right there. Uh, now. Let's do a let's do a tricky one. Let's uh, let's run top here, and let's do user tester, and let's add a field called process group uh, ID. And you see that tester has process group ID five seven one four six seven nine. A couple of different process group IDs going on um, let's let's bring user let's bring them all back in let's uh, go over here and go by process group ID and make sure that uh, I want to make sure that I don't have any process group IDs that match tester uh, and I don't believe I do so what I'm going to do is go as root <laughs> Let me run top again, uh, field, get that process group ID. I want to make sure I get this right. User tester. Let's go with uh, 46571. Let's go with 4571. Alright, so if I do kill all group, okay, let's make sure I have that right. Kill all group because I want to do process group ID and I'm going to do the user tester interactive because I want to make sure I kill the right thing here let's go with bash 
process group 4571, that's the one I want to kill. So if I hit yes, if I hit uh, process group 4678, yes. And now we go over here to my tester user and you see that his only thing left is those batches. And so it didn't kill those as you would expect it would. It tried to kill the process group, but um, those are running. It's not going to kill a session. So if I were to do that again now let's go with the X term uh, tester oh I can do this kill all group ID we're gonna do the group we're gonna do user tester and then we're going to do interactive verbose bash do I want to kill that 4571 yes I kill that uh, Oh no, I didn't want bash that time. I wanted X term. Yes, and you see that the X term died uh, and killed everything in that process group. Which there really wasn't much to see. I apologize for that. So it killed that X term right there. Not, not It's just an example. Be aware that it's going to kill everything associated in that process group to, that the uh, process belongs to. So let's go back over here and let's do uh, X term again. I like to keep my terms open and uh, what else do we should we talk about let's look at the regular expressions mode I can do kill all our uh, let's go with verbose interactive our term now in the before if if I if I just did uh, kill all verbose I term nothing nothing comes up but if I do kill all verbose I interactive uh, regular expression term it says do you want to kill e-term because now it, it's doing a regular expression search uh, looking for everything that has term in it. I'm going to say no there. X term is found. Both X terms, GNOME terminal and A term is found. I can similarly do kill all VIR asterisk term. Whoops. Asterisk term I believe it is. Oh no, sorry forward slash asterisk term and it does the same thing it does a wild card of anything with term in it uh, no 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 so that that's the way that kind of works and I can do a kill all VI verbose interactive R a comma X term and that's going to only find all my X terms and the A term, but none of the other terms. So it doesn't kill anything right there. Uh, let's kill these, because I know you're excited. You want to see it. I'm going to send a signal. Um, well, let's see what signals we have here. Kill all signal uh, kill. We'll do that. I, I'm getting lazy here. Verbose, interactive, recurse, uh, regular expression term yes killed that with signal nine yes this is gonna fail because it's not my user account yes and yes so I killed off all my terminals now as the single user as my single user so if I did pgrep x term I would find that there's only one left running as the um, tester user account so let's bring x term back up uh, and let's look at another thing here. Let's uh, PS EF grep X term. Okay, what I want to show you here. Uh, not a lot of time has gone by. What's the date? Okay, but enough. You can see here that uh, the X term process one was started at 1:52 p.m by the tester user. One was started at 1.54 p.m. by my user account. So kill all has two options, dash Y and dash O are younger than and older than. And this is how you actually use those. Younger than, you're going to say kill all. I'm going to say younger than. So that's any process that's younger than the timestamp I'm going to give. So I'm going to say 13 hour for the hour and that's H and let's say 53 for the minute verbose I X term and when I do that I should get 47 
1904, which is anything younger than that time, 1353, which means that it was, it's, well, it's not, ah, it's getting them both. So I actually need to specify a date, I believe, here. So let's say it's 01 for the month and 01 for the day and 2013 for the year. And now I get 4704. No, I still get them both. Why did I get them both? Thirteen fifty-three, you know, ten month of. Let's try one and day, one day, two thousand thirteen. No. Why is it giving me both? Why? If I would have chose older than, it should fail because it shouldn't find any processes older than. Uh, I don't want CPU time. Where's the time? Time in hundredths of seconds. Ah, that it's not. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me start another. Uh, kill all nine X term. Operation not permitted. A good X term. So I killed that. Uh, PSEF grep X term. So it's 1357. So if I did kill all uh, younger than 1357, uh, 13 hour, 55 minute, 00, zero second, uh, zero 01 month, zero 01 day. 2013 year. Ah. Oh. There we go. Well, it's still wanting to kill that, and I'm wondering why I'm not... Let's go down here to... Uh, maybe I'm using a wrong wrong one. So we got uh, the time is specified as a float, then a unit. Units are seconds, minutes, hours days, week, month, year. So I got second. And it should not have to be in that order, but let's try that. Kill all Y zero zero seconds. Uh, was it da, 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 da. month second minute hour day second so we want zero seconds uh, 55 minutes, 13 hours, and let's see, will it pick up, well, it should pick up X term. Uh, so then it's backwards for... I, I could have sworn I didn't have to do this, um, so let's go... Oh, I, Zero one day, zero one month, and 2013 year. Which didn't it like? Invalid time format. Can you see the error? Zero zero seconds, 55 month, 13 hour, day, month, year. Huh. Still trying to kill that. Well, that that's kind of how you're supposed to be able to use it. I did it at my work computer, and I had no problem. Now, I'm not. I'm missing something here, and I'm not sure what it is. So older than started before the time specified. Kill all. say younger than uh, zero 01 minute 
zero one hour fifty five minute it finds that what if I did a uh, fifteen minute fifty five fifteen hour fifty five minute x term still finds that so let's do two thousand fourteen year x term still finds that oh wait am I getting my terms mixed up no older than should start any any process started before the min all right that that's kind of the way it's supposed to work but I don't know why it's not working here and it's ruining my show and I don't like it kill all well, what is the date right now all right so I should be able to all right so if I do PSDF I got two of them. One started at 132, and the other one started at 1401. So if I kill all uh, any process younger than, well, I want to do verbose interactive. Any process younger than um, 13 hour 15 uh, 55 minute uh, zero second zero or uh, first month first day. 2013 year X term. That should not find that one, and it should not find that one. Well, it shouldn't have found. It should have found the first one, but not the second one. But if it did older, it would not find any of those processes. Oh, the right date. Does it find for last year? Yes, it finds for last year which it should find for last year, and it should not find older from last year. But if I were to do 14, and it should find, so something's wrong in my syntax. So I did kill all verbose I-O 2014 year X term. No process found older than 2014. Younger than 2014 should find, but if I change this to 12, it's still finding those. I wonder what's screwing up about this. That's very odd. It should not be doing that because it didn't do it on my work computer. Anyway, that's how that works. Uh, it's supposed to work and obviously doesn't. So those are the examples I showed you. Really, not much more to show. Wait, you're not going to really see. It's just going to kill all w x term operation not permitted so it would wait till everything returns a signal um, and there we go I've killed everything now it's waiting PSEF grep x term PSEF grep term nothing left we killed everything that's the show folks I'm really perplexed about the time thing it should have worked but uh there's always hiccups somewhere along the way hope you enjoyed the show head on over to the website for more information and uh, we'll see you next time around